some of the during the BBP phase, um, I worked there, and uh, and then there was a breakup of different um, uh, project phases. I did not uh, uh, participate fully in all these project phases. So my aim is to learn, you know, the full um, project life cycle here and end to end. Um, so the, all the different stages and uh, get some more confidence. And I know Tanush sir is very, very uh, knowledgeable. Uh, he's very experienced. So one of the main reasons to join is to get as much as knowledge and experience I can from the new sir. That's my main reason to join the new sir. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So let's start quickly uh, because it will take minimum 45 minu minutes to one hour. So Excuse me, sir. Hello. Yes, yes, please. Sir, is there, uh, this project is for a PM consultant also, sir? Yeah, yeah. So this project, yes. We have all model people, so they will assist you on that. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. So now, so what I am just showing the screen like uh, the milestone of the project, right? So any implementation projects, we have the milestone. So we are following the activate methodology. Okay. So in SAP S4 HANA, we are following activate methodology. But whereas ECC, so we have the uh, ASAP methodology, right? So the difference between ASAP and activate methodology, I'll tell you. And here, so how you know the day one so the project consultant you know who are in uh, on site or offshore so who are you know uh, daily you know working as a consultant maybe you are a, a maybe on site maybe the lead consultant will be there offshore there is a maybe junior consultant who have the three four years experience consultant will be there in on you know offshore right okay so now what we are going to do right maybe on site or offshore end of the day the deliverable of the you know the whole project right so individual module wise what is the deliverable so the interviewer also asking, so maybe the throughout of the implementation project, right? The interview questions also based on these deliverables. So whatever the deliverable, every phase, what I'm going to explain. So please listen, but still I'm recording also. You can able to get the recordable session also, but <clears throat> these deliverable, you know, so this is, uh, you know, the complete interview point of view these deliverables okay so this is not this is just for the theoretical things so it's a purely you know if you attend any interview without these kind of interview questions you know you know uh, all the interview they will ask <coughs> these related project related deliverables you know interview questions okay so yeah okay so so we have you know uh, the phases in activate methodology we have the preparation phase we have explore phase realization phase deployment phase run phases okay so what we do the day one right so first the preparation phase <clears throat> so we are going to discuss about the uh, you know the project org structures okay project organization structure the resource commit you know commitment and everything so here we need to identify what are the consultant. Let's say you know I talk about you know uh, you know the you know the implementation. Let's say the industry belongs to construction or the industry belongs to let's say trading and you know catering divisions or we can say this industry related to you know uh, you know uh, manufacturing of you know asphalt or manufacturing of you know the uh, you know aggregate materials. Let's say you know <clears throat> so here. Uh, you know based on the division suppose one company they have 10 15 20 divisions will be there okay every division belongs to one industry right <clears throat> maybe the retails also will be there manufacturing will be there right construction will be there and the project will be there and trading will be there catering will be there service you know division divisions will be there so like that so many conditions so we need to identify so what all the divisions we are going to be implemented right so we have the scope documents, right? I will, I'm going to share you the scope document, how the scope document would be. So based on the scope documents, you know, this scope document will be provided to you. Suppose you are working an implementation project. So we will provide you the scope documents. Okay. So this scope document contains about the business requirements, right? Suppose you are MM consultant or SD consultant or PP consultant or FICO consultant, we will provide the scope document. So every project, the scope will be there, right? So first you should understand what is the industry and what are the, you know, what type of process, business process they, they are currently they have, right? And everything is high level, the scope document should be there. So based on the scope documents, you know, so we are going to, so that is what the step number three, we have the scope documents. So based on the scope document, so we are going to prepare the BPML, okay? So everything, the scope document, what is scope document, what it contains, what is your role? So these are all we are going to be discussed in the projects, okay? So next, there is a BPML, okay? What is BPML? 
so what for you know who you know what purpose the bpml you know we are going to deliver right so bpml stands for business process master list so we have the scope document right based on the scope we understand about the industry we understand about the product we understand about the business process right everything so now we need to identify what are all the process which we are going to implement so sap there are 100 process every module let's say you know uh, if you talk about you know um, Uh, you know, let's say PP, we have a make to order, make to you know stock, or maybe you know uh, repetitive process, or you know uh, let's say we have a engineering to order, or batch management, or serial number profile. So let's say we can talk about you know all the process. So are we going to implement these process, or are so so that we need to be identified, right? So the BPML contains what all the business process which we are going to be implemented, right? So that we need to be so every module consultant so that we need to deliver. so based on this bpml so for the further deliverables right the further deliverables based on your bpml document i will share you how the bpml should be like this so as a mom point of view what all the process you know sd point of view what all the process you know how to design the bpml how to deliver so because these are all the deliverable document to client right so we have the template you need to follow that you need to fill the process list you have to you know have a you know have a session we have to de- discuss and everything then finally you have to demonstrate this to the customer right yeah so after that we have the rise up objects okay so we need to discuss what all the rise up objects we have the forms we have reports we have announcements we have workflow we have interfaces right so these are all you know and, and again this is end of the day they are deliverable will be done by technical uh, consultant above module above consultant but as a mm uh, or sd or fico you are the responsible for the objects okay so you are the planner right so you have to make sure that your uh, rise up objects you know have you prepared your forms and even the functional specifications okay in sap we called as a fs ts so fs will be done by the functional module consultant ts will be done by technical module consultant okay so we have the templates and you need to follow so before that you should know in sap all the tables right so uh, talk about your material master right so we have a, a material creations itself there are 10 different tables are there mara table marci table mardi table mbw table and uh, we can say like an mcha batch management related tables right so like that so we are going to give you the training about these tables also so you have to familiarize you know at least minimum 5 to 10 fields for each and every table you should be familiarized okay so before starting the functional specification before you know uh, working on the rise up objects so we we will provide the training about the all the module tables okay if you are mm consultant at least minimum 40 tables you should know that and each and every table minimum 3 to 5 fields you should remember talk about material number what is the field name talk about vendor master number what is the field name just i'm telling one one field but like a material we have a, like a material number description let's say you know unit of measurements material type material group external material group like that mrp mrp type so these are all we talk about technical you know uh, description right so we talk about the uh, generic name but when it comes to technical you should know what is the table name what is the field name if you are a pp consultant you should know what is mrp type what is the table for mrp related tables what is the field name for mrp type what is the field name for mrp controller lot size right schedule margin key so like that you know minimum lot size maximum lot size everything so you should know that okay so that training and everything will be there so then only you can able to comfortable in the technical you are preparing some technical spec okay so the technical spec is nothing but based on this your technical module consultant they are going to design the objects they are going to write the you know de- develop the forms right we know what is the forms so reports and announcements and everything okay so once the preparation phase is completed so then we will go for the explore phase so here whatever i explained as a consultant you guys are going to work okay i'm going to share you the sample template so we are going to provide you the training so that is what daily we have the sessions you are going to work on that end of the day you are going to deliver in this implementation projects okay so next we have the explore phase okay explore phase again this is more important actually so this is you know like a uh you know there is a workshop right so we here we are going to conduct the workshop okay so because client doesn't know anything about sap okay so they know sap is a, you know a german software and is a world number one sap erp like they want they know the bus right outside of the bus they know the bends okay how the bends you know buses but they want to you know travel in the bus then only they will feel the comfort right 
so when they are going to utilize when they are going to do the day to day business transaction when they are going to execute the reports right so then they will feel the uh, you know the complete uh, package of sap right how mm is integrated to sd how sd is integrated to you know pp how pp is integrated to fi how all modules are integrated into your you know as a package of in sap right so okay yeah so guys uh, whoever is joined so just text your details in the chat box okay thank you okay so now so we are talk about the explore phase okay if explore phase what you are going to deliver right so you are going to uh, prepare the workshop okay so we called as a fit gap analysis okay what is fit gap analysis so we know the bpml process so we are going to prepare in a powerpoint presentations okay so we need to prepare let's say we identified 40 process in mo module we identified 35 process in sd module so we identified 40 process in fico module so we identified let's say 30 process in pp module so now so what we are going to do as a consultant we need to prepare a fit gap analysis so we are scheduled let's say one week there is a session so you need to demonstrate about your process okay how this process in sap so what is the process flow diagram so how the process is starts for example there is a make to order process so how this make to order process works so customer is give the order and you know there is a mrp process executed by you know uh, let's say planner mrp controller so then you know purchase requisition is created so now that uh, let's say uh, business you know purchaser they are going you know the manager who is going to assign the purchase requisition to the purchaser who is responsible to procure the material so then uh, the warehouse clerk who is going to receive the material right so whether there is accept or reject or quality inspection what is the action so after that you know the material is comes to the inventory and this uh, you know the warehouse clerk then they are issuing the material to the project i mean uh, productions so after that production team they are going to work right so they receive the material so then they are going to you know uh, you know uh, confirm the production order then they are going to do the goods reset right so now inventory management get updates for the final products so now sales and distribution what they do already they created the sales order right so then they will start creating the delivery so then they are going to do the post goods issue and what is the accounting impacts so then there is a delivery process and what is the commercial invoice and everything so then finally accounts receivable so they are you know taking care of the you know payment receipt and everything so this complete cycle you need to put it in a flow diagram right so that is called as a fit gap analysis okay so you need to present so all the module consultant how the consultant they are preparing the flow diagram how they are going to present how they are going to prepare the document everything we are going to give a training to you okay so once you familiarized all the module process and you presented the document to front of everyone so then you will get the complete exposure of you know what all the process we are going to implement what all the integrations are there how your pp module is integrated to sd module how your pp module integrated to fico module so everything you will get the exposure here okay so after that i explained about you know the bbp so this is one of the you know uh, the core deliverable actually okay so you know most of the uh, you know client or customer they will not accept the blueprint sign off because the way you design the blueprint you know they will not agree so most of the consultant i'm telling even people who are 10 years experience they don't know how to design the flow diagram i, I can see in real time so which means they don't have the proper you know they don't have the role basis flow diagram as i told you as a sales you know administrator what activity he do as a you know uh, mrp controller what act activities you do this role itself the based on the role basis you know they are they are they are not designing the flow diagram okay so because this role really more more important okay so people are see your flow diagram you know they should understand wow okay so sales administration role is this is okay great yeah this is what in my organization they are doing so now i understood about sap process also like that they can able to you know take actions okay Fine. so now business blueprint okay what is business blueprint how it contains so we have the templates right so we have the the business flow diagram you know, uh, blueprint which contains about the current business requirements right so like that we have 10 to 15 you know the lines 15 headers are you know we need to follow the titles we can say 10 to 15 headers are there like you have to discuss about the current process then you have to explain about current process you know flow diagram then sap process sap flow diagram so i will explain about the template of you know uh, your blueprint also okay so next we have the uh, data migration approach okay so in sap we called as a uh, sap s4 hana we have a 
data migration right ltmc data migration cockpit okay so this is a completely different tool they have designed web based right so when you are login to sap there is a transaction called if you are enter you know like a mm01 or me21n the command prompt if you are enter ltmc your web application will be open so here you are going to create a project here you are going to assign the object the object like your material master your object like your profit center <coughs> i mean cost center or gl master or book center routing or open purchase order or open production order or initial stock upload or gl upload like whatever so all the uh, upload or all the master data or transaction data or stock upload whatever so sap they have more than 100 plus rice objects not even hundreds more than 200 plus objects they have designed so we need to download the templates okay i will tell you that steps also what are the how this uh, you know uh, template looks like and our consultant job is very simple so no need to design anything just you download the template make sure what all the fields we are going to upload right sap given 300 fields you make it 30 fields what are the 30 fields right it's mandatory rest of the fields are optional no need to delete anything so share the same template you can able to communicate to the your business team okay so that is also we are going to discuss here so then we are going to discuss about the <coughs> master data template that is what we discuss now okay so i will show you the master data template how it looks like uh, you know material or business partner or in sap we call it as a business partner right so like a customer master or supplier master right and we have a even customer extension there is a separate template or vend, you know and vendor uh, extension from one organization purchase organization to another purchase organization we call it as a extension of your material and supplier different different price i mean uh, ltmc object also is available okay so then there is an authorization roles assignment okay so what is authorization roles and assignment you know <clears throat> suppose before so we have the uat process right so we'll start the uat process who will do the uat process so will be done by the end user or super user or you know uh, you know the we can be called as a manager right so they are going to perform their transaction in sap before you know implementing sap right before start the goal live so there is a one of the deliverable called as a user acceptance testing so prior to that we have you know unit testing is there we have integration testing with all the module and all is there but these roles and authorization as a consultant every consultant you should know what is the role which is going to assign for your sales administration what is the role you are going to assign for your warehouse clerk what is the role you are going to assign for your shipping clerk right what is the you know roles you are assigned for your production engineer so like that sap they have designed the role okay so we need to prepare the roles and authors it's nothing but suppose there is a master data team is there who is re responsible for creation of master data right so then only the specific uh, you know transaction code or app id we need to assign what is app id in sap s4 hana completely it's a fury based application okay so there is no any GUI based application so this GUI is only for consultant they are going to do the configuration that's it so the front end will be completely fury applications creating the material master or you know uh, creating the purchase order or creating the sales order production order gl everything the you know the user will perform in fury applications okay so <clears throat> so some customer you know in the implementation they will say uh, you know 50 percent or we can say 70 80 percent they will provide gui based so only the reporting purpose you know they go for the uh, fury applications okay but we should familiarize in fury apps also okay so that exposure also will be getting so in the fury how you are the every app uh, you know will be assigned that is also roles will be assigned here so you can be able to create the same how you are creating the material master in sap gui it's the same you are going to perform in your fury applications okay so definitely the screens and everything will be different right so you should familiarize you once you practice you will get the exposure also okay so once you complete the explore phase then we'll go for the realization phase okay so here there is a, a role called kds okay kds stands for key data structure right so every consultant right you are a mm or sd or fi or pp or pm or ps or you know qm or whatever consultant so we need to prepare the kds okay before start the configuration your development server okay so you before starting the configuration you should know the template so that is another interview questions so could you tell me the you know uh you know the landscape of your sap okay so they will talk about landscapes or what is landscape so landscape in the sense how they have you know the server setups right so we have a development server so we have a quality server we have a production server right so development server how many clients they have created in which server in which client you worked okay and which client the abapper they worked and which client you tested 
right so this there is a single box there is a multiple client so you should know every clients what is their role actually right so that exposure also will provide you because these are all they will ask you could you tell about the landscape about your client so then you should know about these boxes okay so sometimes what will happen uh, the development and quality will be in your you know local uh, you know the servers and the production server will be in a remote you know uh, uh, locations right so which means like a uh, cloud based you know <coughs> you know will be provided one second okay so this landscape is more more important here okay why i uh, you know that uh, realization phase you know we are going to uh, before start the configurations right so the kds document so we have i'll share the sample template how to prepare the kds for example you are uh, let's say you are into mm so how to prepare your master you know uh, like a material master the material master there are 15 to 20 material types are there okay so we have the template right so how to you know prepare your material type what is the account category reference what are the valuation class right and what are the meta you know uh, you know i mean the number ranges you are giving so everything we need to be designed suppose while uploading the master data we need to convert master data into external number range okay so this role is more important actually okay so when we are uploading your master data either using ltmc or bdc or bap or idoc or lsmw so uh, you know you have to you know change your number ranges so that you know like we are uploading 10,000 25,000 records so you'll have the clarity you know which mass which material number have the issue okay so like that you know uh, we have to design your kds like uh, you know start about material you know and business partner or like you know purchase requisition document type number ranges we are like same thing like po rfq contract now document type number ranges pricing procedures right and uh, so we have uh, the material master kds right while configuring material master what are the material groups what are the external material number and what are the unit of measurements you know additionally we need to configure it and the mrp type mrp controller lot size right so these are all valuation class and uh, you know uh, serial number profile if your material is a serialized material so we need to configure the serialized also right so these inference so these are all the kds the same thing like a vendor master you have the bp group you have the vendor account group you have the type of you know bp type and we have what all the reconciliation account has to be there so like what is the what all the payment terms to be configured so these are all the kds okay so we know just we are creating one vendor master so behind that what all the kds to be configured we need to prepare a document as a consultant you need to uh, you know do the configuration then you need to you know while upload the master data these kdcs are more important right yeah so next uh, we are talking about the testing environment okay so now your business book you we, we completed the scope document we completed the blueprint we completed the you know <coughs> you know uh, uh, configuration so now we have the testing environments okay so what you are going to perform in the testing right so as a consultant what is your role actually okay so here we are segregated three different type of testing okay so first testing you know we called as a unit testing okay unit testing will be done by individual module consultant so if you are a mm so you have to perform all your bpml process i told you there are 40 process we identified for this current implementation project or the client so on so so now this 40 process you you have to be configured you have to test it okay so this testing document we need to prepare it yes this 40 process i have tested this is my testing document you need to prepare the document you need to prepare the test scripts you need to prepare the document also right so this is the first testing document yes my configuration is perfect so next what will happen we will schedule there is a integration testing okay integration testing is like the process wise testing okay what is the process so this company let's say there is a project <clears throat> let's say talk about this a construction so construction what will happen there is a project so what project will do they are requesting the material okay and uh, you know purchase team they are going to procure the material suppose this material is procuring external vendor or internal vendor for example internal means <clears throat> there is an additional you know there is a manufacturing unit so they are manufacturing of asphalt or they are manufacturing of aggregates or you know <clears throat> if they are manufacturing any other let's say catering so they have their own food services so how they are going to procure the material okay internal how they are procuring for external suppose they have a transports they have heavy vehicles everything there are different different departments so when you know one department procure the services another department you know they are in the you know the, the supplied department or you know the serviced department there is a revenue has to be booked right 
So like there is a vendor and customer concept. Let's say I have a 10 department. Okay, I can say, uh, you know, project department. I have a, a transportation department. I have a, you know, heavy equipment department or I have the, you know, the project divisions or I have the, you know, uh, we talk about fabrications department right <clears throat> fabrication what they do when the customer is requesting maybe internal project or external they are requesting the fabrication i need to do the fabrication for this one particular godon or i need to do design one big tanker or like that right so <clears throat> so now they are going to do the you know get the requirement from the customer then you know the mrp process everything is going to be executed then they are going to you know execute the process right so here the testing is <clears throat> i'm you know the <clears throat> sorry so the testing is you know the completely uh, the end to end cycle okay so how the customer is giving the order so how they are going to manufacturing the process so before manufacturing how the procurement starts like so after procurement how the production is works after production how that you know uh, material is manufactured how the material delivered to customer how the you know they are built to customer how they are receiving the money from customer so this are all the cycle we have a 30 process okay 30 process 30 sub process okay one process have 30 step process steps are there so this 30 process we are going to segregate five to six process for one one module right so now all module consultant they are sit together we have to execute the process there are so many error will arise right At the end of the day we have to make sure yes this process is working fine right so this is called as a integration testing right so here every module people are involving we know what is the integration you are a mm consultant you know what is the obyc setup for my stock account how they design what is the valuation grouping code to assign to my valuation area how this obyc setup bsx stock is you know they are updating the gl what type of gl they are going to create they are assigning right so while performing the goods receipt my accounting if these are posted correctly suppose tomorrow you know you will test all the perspective right same way sd people also how my material is going to be delivered so how i can able to you know based on my sales order production order is going to be created based on the mrp so what is the configuration behind that what is the process chain process steps are there so this kind of exposure will be getting there okay third one we called as the inter, you know user acceptance testing okay so this user acceptance testing so we have you know uh, schedule for uat so that is also the prerequisite for uat there is a roles and authorizations okay so we have a roles and authorization should be set up in the quality system what is roles and authorization who is going to create a material master or who is going to create a master data right and who is going to create a purchase you know requisition who is going to create the purchase order right let's say purchaser who is going to create the inventory process so we are going to create a role we are going to assign in the quality system and we are going to perform we are going to make them to perform the process you got it right so we are going to make them to execute the process so now there are so many authorization issue will come maybe they cannot be able to create the purchase requisition maybe your you know sale purchase you know your plant number is not assigned or your company code is not assigned your profit center is not assigned cost center is not assigned or you know so like that so many errors also will arise so we are going to be you know you know make sure whether the respective user who have that who can able to access the transaction who can able to perform the transaction without any errors right okay so this is more more important in the uat basis there are so many challenges will be there so because all the model team right all consultant all the business team they are come together you have to give a training how to create material how to create customer master how to create work center routing bill of material how to create your gl master how to post the you know you know journal entries how to post the invoice and payment and you know down payment like we need to give a complete training so this is another one month activity so minimum a month it will take right okay so once you have this exposure so after that what we are going to move so next we are going to move for the cutover activities okay so next there is a deployment phase okay what in deployment phase what the consultant will do right as i told you we already you know designed we already discussed about the rice objects right so we know how many forms has to be designed suppose purchase order print out or goods receipt print out and return the material to vendor right return delivery print out our goods issued to production order print out our goods issued to project print out goods issued to cost center print out right so like the transfer posting from one plant to another plant you are transferring same thing like customer sales order creation print out right delivery print out invoice print out return print out same thing for you right even FICO like invoice print out or check printing print out right and uh, 
uh, you know the down payment so we are going to address overall the forms and reports and enhancement and everything so <clears throat> here the cutover activities is we are taking care only the uploading the data right so cutover activities you know like uh, we have uh, the tool uh, as i told you there is a tool called ltmc so here master data and transaction data for example for mm so we have a material master vendor master info record source list and everything so we are going to uh, you know uh, prepare the template same thing for fic like a gl master vendor master customer master right hand asset master bank master gl opening balance vendor opening balance customer opening balance asset opening balance so these are all as a consultant you should you know work in the ltmc you should you know upload the data you have to test the data whether your program is works right as per your ltmc template if yes then you have to give the template back to customer customer will give the data and you need to upload it so this exposure also we provide so these are all one month to two months activity so we compress your training and this activity also you are going to deliver you are going to work this is completely new for you right even the senior consultant they don't have this kind of exposure we are providing this cutover activities right you are going to prepare the template you are going to you know uh, uh, design the template design means you know you are going to you know what all the fields is required based on your material number right Be material uh, suppose you are uploading material master they say be given 300 fields so you know okay okay for me okay these these fields are optional these are all the mandatory fields okay so based on that you are going to get the data from the customer right end user or maybe the business team they are going to download from their you know uh, or oracle or e promise or whatever you know current erp they have they are downloading the template and they are going to make it as per your own template okay your template little tricky here i'll show you how the, the template you know uh, for all the master data sap they have designed right okay so after that you are going to upload right so that is a cutover activity so here there is a in cutover activity itself there is another interview questions okay they will ask you whether you really worked in implementation project or not they will test you okay in cutover activity tell me what are the data you have uploaded so what is the volume of data so how many days you uploaded your material master so how many days you uploaded your supplier master could you tell me so the ltmc what is the program what is the object name you assigned so <clears throat> or could you tell me the ltmc step by step so what you have done so step number one what you do step number two what you do so these are all the interest so you cannot escape them until if you are not worked in the implementation project right so that we are not escape, escaping skipping this session but still we are we have the limited time so maximum you know one week time we are assigned for this cutover activity we are giving the training further so you are going to down you know working in the ltmc object tool and you are going to you know download and you are going to test the data whether your program is working perfectly so there are so many errors will arise you cannot be able to as it is you cannot upload so system there is a you know there is a, you know uh, <clears throat> you know the kds point of view you need to give the proper data otherwise system will not allow you you cannot be able to identify which error is arises what purpose this error also coming you cannot be able to understand okay until you have the proper practices right so this exposure we are providing in the uh, cutover activities right so after that so finally so we are going to do the run phases okay run phases so here your go live activity so we are going to make sure your system is ready now right so you done the blueprint you done the configuration you done the testing you done the cutover activity your all master data everything is there so what next so we need to perform the uh, you know uh, go live activities right so we need to make sure we need to start the process in our sap system right so again there is a support related issue what all the issues will come in support again interview point of view so we identify what all the issues we are facing in the implementation project after go live and support and support related project what all the issues will come what all the complex scenario what all the you know critical enhancements you have done so these are all the interview related questions right so whatever i just explained here so these are all the deliverables these are all the interview point of view questions okay so i'm just going to show you what all the sample document looks like what you are going to deliver here okay so just i will give you sample scope document here okay so for all the modules so we are going to first we are going to give the scope document okay so let's say i'm going to explain about uh, you know one of the scope document here so they will provide about you know about your business like what type of industry they have and what all the organization what all the master data they have and they will explain about the process what all the business process currently they have right and about the inventory management so all the process they will explain so this scope documents you know once you go through that you will understand the industry you will understand the business process 
you will understand the business requirements everything will be there you have the business flow diagram you have the step by step process everything they have designed okay so based on this you are going to okay so based on this let me explain one of the process how it looks yeah so here yeah so for example this is one of them process procurement of material for non stock projects okay so they have discussed they have already pro, you know explained about the process right how the requirement where the requirement is starts right so how the request what you know uh, the requisitor check the material code is available in sap or not then they are check whether material is exist yes then they are going to create the purchase requisition then they are going to maintain the account assignment if it is a project is p so then they are going to maintain the item category right then there is a maintain the wbs elements in pr then enter the budgeted price so like that you know the process they have explained if you go through each and every process you will understand the process where it starts and where it ends right and the what are the roles as i told you right role this is nothing but role requisitioner requisitioner role these are all the role these are all the transaction this all the business transaction will be performed by requisitioner so this requisitioner role we are assigned to the respective employee right okay this is called as a roles and authorizations okay so here there is a bu management okay what is bu management so it's nothing but the department head who is going to verify who is going to approve all the orders right we called as a role called as a bu business unit management so then we have a business unit procurement okay procurement is nothing but purchaser what they are do they are going to source it right so once they receive the intent once they receive the purchase requisition they are going to source it okay who is the vendor suppose already there is a desired vendor is there or fixed vendor is there or any agreement is there so they are going to procure it based on that after that there is a purchase manager will come into the role who is going to approve your purchase order then invent warehouse clerk like that the process will start okay so i don't we don't have time much so just i'm just take one of the process okay so for all the modules so we have the scope documents we have all the process they have explained so based on that you know we are going to design your blueprint based on that you are going to do the kds and configuration and testing and everything okay so then i will show you the next uh, document so as i told you there is a bpml okay so bpml stands for business process master list so for every module so we need to design your bpml process right so the bpml stands for business process master list right start, start about your master data start about your the p2p process uh, process for example this is one of the process like a procurement of stock material so what are the process steps so procurement of non stock material service procurement asset procurement subcontracting procurement so like that they have specific process right okay so we are not going to implement all the process so what are uh, the process which are current practices which is really required as per their practices business requirement so we are going to design we are going to implement so as a consultant we need to prepare the bpml right this is one of the deliverable document so here we need to make sure 100% you understand the business so you cannot be able to simply put that process like that right so you should know the prior to that you should the scope document you should you know you know completely out understand so that we can able to you know 100 percentage you will get the exposure okay so these are all the process to be implemented right so in the other ways what will happen during the uit the user will give so many process okay you test you know let's say there is i am going to transfer one asset from one you know one company code to another company code so you just show me the process now they will say that okay so my you know, purchaser in the project said he, they, he, they will raise the purchase request this has to go for approval after this approval then we have to transfer the asset then you need to take the printout of the asset transfer voucher printout so then you have, you know you need to you know uh, then i have to make sure yes this asset is you know uh, delivered to the project site you show me the process as a consultant if you are not identify this process during the bpml so do you think that how much process how much configuration mom said approval process and the fi said process so that is what right right so just one single process but integrated to all the module okay so we need to design your bpml as per you know the template so we have to make sure 100 percentage process you have covered here right so this is one of the sample bpm i have shown here okay so next uh, okay so here there is a configuration document before that we will show you know maybe this con yeah, configuration documents so this is uh, yeah so this configuration documents because once the project is completed right once we have implemented the project so we need to deliver the configuration document okay so this is one of the deliverable document so how to prepare the configuration document in your 
MM, SD, FIPP configuration document. So, we have to explain about your org structure, what all this rubbish type org structure, master data configurations and business process configuration, batch management, pricing procedure, or even if you are ordered to cash related pricing procedure, batch management, right? And uh, so, all the process you have to design, you have to prepare. These are all the, you know, we need some, you know, we need to, before that, we should know the all the configuration you have to execute the process so then only you can able to prepare the complete configuration documents okay so just i'm sharing the sample document here <clears throat> so as a consultant how to prepare the configuration documents okay so so next we can go for the cutover activities okay so cutover activities already we discussed so this is the template you know for the xml file okay there is a ltmc there is a transaction code and there is a web application will be opening so from there you can able to download the master data template so here i will just show you one of the material master so how this template looks like okay so this template will be for example so this is one of the master data like material master data so sap they have given you know you can uh, explain about that you know ltmc and everything size of the file and everything they explain and what all the fields right all the fields they have explained here so then there is a master data so this is like sorry basic data so here we have talk about your material number industry sector material type see for here just for the basic data they have more than you know uh, uh, 40 50 fields are there so we need to make sure you know what all the fields is really required right so no need to fill it all the fields but still we need to make sure what all the relevant fields which need to fill it so then we have the plan specific data right so plan specific data so talk about your mrp related data right and uh, your plan specific data and your let's see your profit center related information transportation point and shipping point right <clears throat> so this related information has to be maintained as a separate sheet but here your material number should be the unique okay so wherever you are maintaining let's say your thousand records or ten thousand records your material code whatever you have maintained column a that should be the same for your every sheet it should be same if it is something different again very difficult to identify the error where the error is occurs right so there is a storage location specific data there is a forecasting uh, parameters right production warehouse number if it is wm is there then we can able to maintain storage type data accounting related data right we have the valuation area moving average price so we have the valuation class material ledger activation material price determination so these are all the fields you know these are all the you know you need to test it so before that you need to make sure as a mm consultant you need to make sure from your fi or pp and sd you need to get all the relevant fields based on the material type you need to test it then finally you have to deliver the template to the business okay so just yeah, I, I had one doubt actually regarding this material you know after loading only we'll get the material number right how we are going to do that one no, this that's what I told. That's the external number. If you design the external okay. number, you can enter here. Okay. So you need to change the external number first. Then you need to, once you uploaded all the material master, all the business partner, vendor master, customers, you know, everything, you can change from external number to internal number ranges. Okay. Yeah. So this is for that material master I'm just sharing. But like that, we have you know a GL master upload, we have you know, uh, let's say a supplier master upload. So I can show you all the template, you know, but uh, we don't have much time. So let's jump into uh, functional specification so how to prepare the uh, functional specifications yeah so functional specification how to prove you know let's say for purchase order print out so how you need to design the fs so these are all you know the interview point of view they will ask you right so as a you know uh, you know uh, if have you worked in any uh, farms you know what are the farms you have designed and uh, have you worked in the functional specification tell me what are the tables you are using in the purchase order window tell me what are the tables you are using for the sales order or maybe the you know uh, production order related or so these are all the you know uh, you know prerequisites so simply you cannot design the functional specification you should know first the process you should know the tables you should know the technical object and everything then you should know how to link the table right so from one table to another table how to link it so what is the prerequisites right what infer what is the you know parameter you have to pass it what are the information you are going to get it so like that the linking table right so these are all the exposure you know we provide so once you have this exposure then you can able to design the functional specifications okay so we will have the all the module we have the you know here they are printing the purchase order printout there is a sample template they have given <coughs> they have explained about the so vendor address how they are printing the vendor address so how the printing the purchase order details and what are all the document type and logic so everything they have explained here okay so how the purchase order output and what is the 
you know the tables what are the table they are using what is the functional module they are using what is the t code they are going to print the purchase orders so everything they have explained and what is the testing cases right what are the test cases so single purchase order how you know what is the test result or collective purchase order what is the test results so all the information you know you have to prepare so same thing for all the module mm sd and fi pp related efforts everything we are going to prepare the same templates okay so uh, as i told you there is a kds key data structures right so we have to design like uh, your kds based on like what is the all the module wise we have the kds right let's say what all the company code we are going to be implemented then what all the plant so we are going to implement right so we have the company code and the list of plants and what all the purchase organization purchasing group sales organization distribution channel division so these are all the kds template we will provide and there is a word document also is there so finally you need to convert it into there is a document okay for example this is uh, one of the kds uh, this is one of the deliverable how to prepare the kds so they have explained so this template will be provided for all the module mm sd and fi and pp so once you prepare in the excel file you have to convert it into the a document okay so this kds is more more important so before start the configuration your kds should be ready and all the you know uh, based on the kds only we are going to do the configuration maybe your pricing procedure or your document type or your you know the org structure design or everything based on your kds So, yeah so we need to uh, you know not only for interview point of view so before that as a consultant we need to familiarize you know the designing the functional specification or designing the enhancement right so you should know the process and uh, for example let's say there is a uh, you know uh, we called uh, there is a weight bridge weight bridge is nothing but when the truck is come in you know uh, loading the material and deliver to the project site or customer site right so there is a interfaces for example there is a weight bridge system is there so that weight bridge system so they are going to uh, you know uh, put the weight uh, the truck before the empty weight what is the weight and after the you know uh, the loading what is the weight right so this weight we need to be calculated in the system and uh, so then we can able to uh, you know uh you know uh, this has to be automated into your sap system so how we can able to uh, you know design the template how we can able to uh, you know uh, do this interfaces in your sap system right so for that you should know what how you can able to customize let's say the driver name or vehicle number trip number and you know what is the weight of the weight you know track and after you know unloading what is the empty weight of the track so what is the actual weight so here what will happen customer will give you let's say for you know 25 ton and your half actual weight it will say only for 24 ton right so <clears throat> here there is a issues also will be rising so no no uh, it should be 25 ton only you have to pay for 25 ton so like that we need to be ex okay so we so we need to yeah so here so we need to <clears throat> you know the, how the interfaces we can able to communicate so how we can able to customize this process everything we need to be address here okay yeah so we will discuss all the module wise what all the receive object and how to prepare the fs how to you know what all the tables we are using how to design the logic and everything will be you know discuss here okay so all the module even pp related also we will be adding here okay so how the enquiry related reports we can do contract forms how to design like you know uh, like a delivery invoice and what all the reports so, so here we identified what all the forms what all the reports what all the enhancements so we are going to identify based on that we are going to you know uh, design the fs developing the you know uh, rise objects right yeah so like that i can explain all the deliverables but end of the day whatever i shown these all will be delivered by you okay so we will give a proper training so we will give you proper template and we you need to deliver these deliverables so end of the project so end of let's say it, uh, after the two months of this project or 45 days of this project so you will have the confidence 
how you can able to speak or how you can able to expose yourself as a end to end implementation consultant okay so the complete end to end exposure you will be getting so once you worked all the deliverables as i explained to you there is a, the activate methodology start with you know uh, you know the scope document and the bpml then configuration the functional specification testing unit testing integration testing user acceptance testing cutover activity roles and authorization uploading the master data right go live and support activity after support what all the issues these all the exposure more 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 important okay so once you worked in this project you will have you know the three years of exposure we are dumping into the two months of the project so once you have this pro exposure you update your profile as a you know end to end implementation consultant put a role of you know bbp faces what all the roles you know and the configurations activity testing activity cutover activity master data upload so everything you can able to talk wherever he asked you can able to answer for that not only this the process specific configuration also okay for your module related configuration or the integration related configuration also you can able to answer here right yeah so say that's it from my side maybe if you have any questions please raise yeah so anybody have any questions from your side uh then after i have applied for uh, jobs but uh, in interviews they are asking about this implementation project yeah so that is what i explained here that is what uh, you know this one hour session i have explained so i will share this recorded sessions okay so okay. please go through that uh, so start with okay. as a consultant day one what they do and you know what all the phases they have what all the deliverables they have so preparation phase what we do blueprint phase what we do configuration phase what do cutover activity phase what they do like so like that we have segregated all the deliverables so these are all the deliverables will be done by the functional module consultant okay so already i have explained sir, whatever you are asking single line so already i explained in the one hour session please go through that okay sir and uh, second thing sir uh, i have uh, missed shift job uh, then uh, the timing will match or uh, uh, the recorded session will be yeah will be the recorded session will be there <clears throat> so we have a saturday also you can connect so you can able to manage so time is not issue we will record every session you know every day okay 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 and uh, it will be specific for uh, uh, each module sir and again you need to discuss with the technical module consultant so you need to then they will start developing the program then they will do the test then you have to do the testing so there are so many activities are there okay so before that you should familiarize the tables like right? what are the tables we are linking how what basis we are going to customize right uh, you know the logic and everything we are going to build it yeah okay okay sir thank you so after you know uh, you know uh, once you completed this project you can handle independently you know you can handle independently design the blueprint you can design the you know the configurations or all the phases i will make sure you you can able to handle independently so this exposure i can give you and once you updated your cv so 100% i am telling maximum three interview okay first and second and third interview you should get a job so like that you know this project exposure will give you i can say best example the ones he is a fresher one candidate he just completed the project he have i can say that he get a offer he called sir i got a 6 lakhs package he is a fresher okay fresh candidates so after that within one week he is telling sir i get one more offer with you know 6 uh, to 8 lakhs now he is telling 8 lakhs package i got the offer so after that you know another you know one week he is telling sir i got 10 lakhs pack. so like that finally he got 12 lakhs package he got a job so which okay. uh, this option you know when i started my career in 2006 i never get this kind of uh, you know package after four years exposure only even not even four years after five six years i got the package he got the uh, as a fresher after completing the project he got that's a real Uh, example i'm telling you i'm not uh, you know uh, saying any real coming kind of commitments but i'm telling this happen so which means this project okay he is recommending so many people with the other module also but what i am telling you once you have this implementation project it's not like that i am i will attend name sake you have to put your efforts the 40 to 45 to 60 days the day one you know you just make it okay next uh, you know two months i need to get a job my profile should be in sap see once you started your career then only your experience is going to be started is doesn't mean the day one once you got a sap you know you will get a to, to, you know to 15 lakhs or 20 lakhs no it is based on your experience gradually only the share market how it's going same way your exposure your package will be there okay so but you want to how much package you know you want 8 lakhs or 10 lakhs or 12 lakhs so that much exposure you have to put it here okay and same way how many months you want to get a job 
i want to get a job you know after completion of the project within one or two weeks so then so that much you know your presence is required here okay, okay. so no need to worry about that you focus on the project and deliver the project just this is not a six months or one year project just we are compressed the three years project we are making in two months period 60 days okay. so that every day it's more crucial for everyone so you need to deliver you need to focus your project after 40 days i'm telling you 100 percentage you know you will have the confidence how to build your profile how to upload update your cv 100 percentage you will get the calls maximum three to four interviews you should have you get the offer also okay i can guarantee for that Sir, like, no uh, like uh, every day we will be working only at that uh, timings only, like how you use it? How, how you, yeah. See, actually this, uh, we have one hour session, one hour, one and a half hours, it will go daily basis, okay? okay. So here, uh, you need to deliver, okay? So we provide the templates, we will explain about the BBP sessions, how the BBP should be, so what all the template we have to follow, so everything we will provide that, so based on that, every deliverable, so you have to work and you have to present it. If there, if there is any corrections, we will let you know that so this is this correction has to be done and uh, so based on that you have to deliver so like that every deliverable so let's say there is a rice up object so rice up object we have a, each model we have minimum 10 to 15 rice up objects so we will have a session first so okay. as i told you before that we will give let's say 40 tables exposure we will provide you first mm -hmm. okay then you will you know then only you know the second level i can bring you to design the you know fs so like that we will give you the session the initial session will be there and based on that, you know, we will give you the template also, you need to follow. And if you need any doubts or anything, so during the session, we will correct it. Okay, you mean to say every day we have one section prior yes, to, yes, yes. Uh, then we'll have, have yes. some tasks which need to do. Correct, correct. Okay, so you're into which 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 model and how, how long, how much experience do you have? I have, uh, I'm doing all logistics and uh, finance, EWM also. So I have more than 15 years in SAP. Okay, your good name is Srikant, is that right? No, my name is Danush. Sorry? Danush, Danush. Danush uh, Jaya told Srikanth, is that the trainer? Yeah, he is also is there. He is also available. So he is also going to assist you. Okay. Okay. So like you are from uh, which location? So I am from here, uh, Tamil Nadu. Okay. okay. Yeah. For every model, do you have any specific trainer kind of thing? Or how you are only going to handle uh, all do the same sales or like? No, uh, actually here we provide one complete setup. Okay. So okay. you are not going you know, to, so I understood actually your requirements. So, mm -hmm. so we have, let's say we identified 30 process, right? This 30 process, so one particular company code, you are going to build it. Okay. So nobody is going to touch your company code. Nobody is touching your org structure or pricing details or whatever configuration you do. So let's say five people for SD. So five of them, they have to deliver it. You know, they are going to configure it for the complete, you know, the package of the SD model. Okay. So oh, everybody, okay. we will assign separate, separate company codes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You mean to say everyone will have their own organization structure. Yes. Yes. Correct. Now, how will be the other models like uh, in, in other models like FI related? See, like like uh, suppose uh, FI CEO, let's say they have, uh, yeah, so definitely suppose uh, you have, uh, let's say five people for SD, so five company codes should be built. So suppose mm -hmm. FI CEO, let's say five people are that we will assign. Otherwise, if only one people, then they have to take care of five company codes related config and everything, they have to do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So everyone should be working independently. There is no certain thing. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. fine. fine. Thanks. Okay, guys. Uh, thank you so much uh, for joining the today's sessions. I will share the recordable sessions if you want to go through once again. So please go through that, and uh, you know, and feel free to connect with uh, you know that number which I have listed. Okay. So J Lakshmi number also I provided in the chat box, and uh, Shrikanth number also provided. So if you are interested to join for current uh, August month projects, okay. So feel free to connect with them. So they will assist you, and. Uh, so hope everyone, you know, to get a uh, job in SAP as a consultant role. So uh, I wish all you uh, very best, you know, to start your career in SAP. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sir.